What's up guys, it's your boy Super Right on back again with another video. Good to see you guys today. Here we have the shoe comparison video. Like I compare it to other Nikes and stuff. And other shoes I have, the same brand, same people. And I know it didn't look like I had this much shoes here. And I did get some new shoes. Or a new pair of shoes, because I think I want a new pair. And yeah, let's get into the video. Make sure you like, comment on my Instagram, and subscribe. Let's try to get, by the end of this month, let's try to get to 30 subscribers. No, by the end of February, let's try to get to 30 subscribers. And let's try to get my most like viewed video up to 100 views, and this video to 20 likes. Thank you. start from this side so the guy that's having sorrow right now LeBron James he has fire sneakers right now he's going through one of losing one of his favorite for people ever Kobe I hope you all I know you guys all know but anyways let's not make it a sad video here we have, you know, because you know, you got that heat. This is the new shoes I, shoes. I got these yesterday. Thanks to Grandpa. These shoes are just all around fire. He has like this little design right here. Get it close up to the camera. <laughs> but he has a little design here. Where like, it's like a Roman kind of style, I think. I'll maybe, I'll probably search that up and see. And here, you know. King James, right? That's what they call him. So what do you think he got to put here? A king and a King James. His number here, 23. And on the other side here, it says LJ. LeBron James, his initials. Well, this, and this is a comparison video. So here are the LeBron 15, LeBron 15 hazards or caution lights or something like that. These are fire, comfortable, just like those. You know what I like about his shoes? They're cloth in the front. So you can, like cloth, you can wear a long time. You can wear until your foot busses, your toe busses through the cloth. That's the nice thing I like about it. It's a nice orange, wolf gray, and light gray style. And you got the 15 tag and then LeBron here. And then the king at the bottom. You always must find a king on LeBron's shoes. Now let's get into... <laughs> To comfortability I really haven't I literally just put these on and took them off like you know just to check out so I probably going comfortability right now these ones cuz I really haven't wore these ones so later maybe I'll give you an update on how, after wearing the shoes for a month how it feels next here we going on to someone Another big Kobe lover, his mentor, Kyrie Irving. Couldn't even play to the in the game yesterday because his heart sunk from the tragedy, which you guys all know about. And these shoes, fire! I'll be comparing these shoes to the five, and I'll be comparing these shoes to the four, uh, to the the fours, to the three. So the generation after. So these ones, which one's more comfortable? I'm gonna have to go with these ones. These ones have like a like, but hold on, let me get after that. Sure. So the this is a a stitch Nike sign. He has Velcro on his shoe. That's another thing I like about it. But the only thing I don't like is the with the Velcro the laces get stuck on and then they like destroy the laces. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But overall, fire shoe. You know his symbolism. Loves eyes. Just like think make it. Makes him feel like he's looking wide open. Like, I know you guys don't think it's Illuminati. Like, whatever. It's not Illuminati. He explained it in one of his videos. You just got to go check it out on GQ, I think. Anyways, and then you have the V and I5. Kyrie, I mean, V and I6. These are Kyrie 6s. <laughs> Oops, don't want anything to fall. The next... We have the Kyrie Fives. Kyrie Fives are one of my favorite shoes of all time. Stylish. 
which one I think is better in styles? This one. No, I like the style of those, but these ones are better. Like, I, I had to grow on these. I, I was sleeping on these horribly. I thought, I was like, I didn't like this, but I'm in love with them now. Like, this is foam. You already know, remember that I always talk about? This not Illuminati. If you guys want to think it's Illuminati, whatever. You guys can go ahead and think about it. And, you know, had to put rest easy to the goat, Kobe. Show you the other side of my shoe. Sad moment though. It says Colby with a heart. Eight twenty four. Eight and twenty four. That's his two numbers that he wore for the Lakers. Which one I think is better in comfortability? I said these, but I not. These are way more comfortable. But I like them both. I mean, not these. These are way more comfortable. These are better in looks. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you. These, this is the LeBron box that these are on. This is the Kyrie box. The Kyrie 6 box. The Kyrie 5 box. I just had to use a regular Nike one because I couldn't find the Kyrie 15, the um, LeBron 15 box. A regular Nike box. Here we have... <clears throat> The full Kyrie fours. Man, I got these for the start of fifth grade. Now I'm in sixth. So that that tells you I had these for over a year and a almost a year and a half. They're honestly not that bad in condition. And then we have the fear is not real comment here. These I just love. Here's his inspirational thing again. I, you always find these in his shoes. I just love these. They're comfortable too. And look, I like the galaxy bottom. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you the inside. That's the inside. And two different Nike side colors. Yeah. Oh wait, I picked it up from the wrong way. Actually, I'll just leave that there because. Sorry. Oops, it's stuck. It's stuck. So I don't mess that up. Let me just pick this up. So, uh, this is... Uh, I really don't want to expose how long I had these shoes. I had these shoes for like two and a half years. Um, But this is the Nike Kyrie 3s. Oh my gosh, I would kiss these shoes right now, but they're a little too bit dirty. This is... Uh, actually, this shoe is going on three years old. Dang. So, I actually wore these shoes in my chain, in my uh, divisional game. I actually wrote a message on them. That's why they're so special to my heart. Because this is my first year of, like, playing um, basketball of, like, versus people. Here. This is the people call this Illuminati, but it's actually the eyes where he looks through. And sees passion, greatness. And, yeah, it's on both sides of the shoe. It's just nice, cool gray. I think these are called the cool, the wolf something. Yeah, something, something. <laughs> but I've seen Duke players wear these, so maybe that's our lanes to Duke. But which one's more comfortable out of the the Le the, <laughs> the Kyrie 3s or the Kyrie 4s? Honestly, I'm going to say the Kyrie 3s. And this one's more comfortable. Stylish is this one stylish more? No, this one's more comfortable. This one's more stylish. Yeah. That's it for the Kyrie room. Here we all here we go on to Jordans. So I have three. Uh, yeah. In my lifetime, I have more than three Jordans, but currently I have three pairs of Jordans. One of them don't fit. So. These ones I showed in my all most of these I show I show all of these in my sneaker collection. Told you guys about a little about them. Here we have the retro 11s. I know you guys saw these a lot already. These are the retro 11s. Nothing much to say. Snake skin. Got these for my birthday. That's why it's in my heart. Oh, why am I picking from there? I'll be picking from here. Here we have the, 
I don't know the name. I'm sorry. I didn't look it up. But whatever they're called. I forgot. I, I actually looked up the name and I forgot it. But these are just some uh, nice put on, slip on, and run out the house for you. This is an airport collection. Just inside is all blue. I showed you guys all the attributes it showed at the bottom before my, my shoe collection video. And just nice white on the outside. You feel me? The Jordan side. Can't go wrong. These, are, But I know what these are the 10s. These are the 10s. Um, here we have the 12s. Uh, okay, let me tell you something about the 12s. Everybody gets on me for this, but I'm not a big fan of 12s. They hurt my toe here. Look, I wore these shoes about 20 times. I don't wear them that much. They're a little dirty, but whatever. Look, what is this? I barely wore them. What? I literally, look, I, I, I barely wore them. Look at the this this bottom. Like I barely wore them. Why they're so dirty? But you know, I got the gold ones. But I'ma still like these are suede, so you already know I like these. But this is like probably my favorite twelve out of all of them. Probably because of the suede and stuff. I don't even know why it says town. I never looked it up. If you guys know, drop in drop in the comments. I mean, oh yeah, on my Instagram. Here we have the. Oh yeah, those are the eleven. I forgot to tell you. Here we have the fives. Here, these are the. They actually still fit me. Let me just try. I need to wear these again. I just need help lacing them up. Oops, there's some laces in here. Oops. Uh. I haven't worn these in a long time. They actually still fit me perfectly. Toes there, but it's still good. Should wear these more. Yeah, these are the fives. I think they're like some cool gray fives or something. I don't know what the name is. I have a lot of gray shoes and red and white shoes. But nothing much to say about these. I got these a long time ago. Don't even remember. How did I get these? Oh, for Christmas. Yeah, now I remember. Uh, which was the best out of comfortability? These. All the other ones, these ones are soft, but my toe hurts here. These ones, they're hard. The hard inside's hard. These are hard inside. So this one's the most comfortable, not that hard inside. But the most stylish, I right, obviously I gotta go with these. And then, here we have some soccer indoors. I don't think they fit that well anymore. And they're not the most comfortable. I literally got these a day before the tournament. That's how you know I was rushing. Like, I wasn't looking for anything too good. Like, I, actually, I was, but my mom was like, hell no. I'm not buying you expensive shoes to wear them once. So, I, bought, I literally wore them at the thing, the, the indoor. Then I had practice in, in the indoors for the winter. So, I wore them there, and I wore them once to school. That's it. Literally, the story about them. Now, uh, these, on the other hand, is a different story. Oops, why am I picking up in there again? That's just for show. So what is this in here? I'll just take These, on the other hand, these are my track shoes. Actually, I have another one in my gym locker. I have more track shoes in my gym locker, but I've never brought them. I just don't bring them home because I don't need to. Oh, see, even the insoles got falling out of these. Like, uh, these are beat up. I wear them for track. Because you know me. <laughs> so fast, you feel me? These are um, Paul George's I just doing. They're not even, I don't have any opposite to them. All those have opposites. Those are Nike opposites. I really don't have any opposite. I just do these in. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. These are my basketball shoes. I s so let me tell you the story. I bought these to not get them dirty, wear them at the court only. And one time, my work is supposed to be not to ever touch ground outside with them. One time, I forgot to put back on my slides after a game. I stepped five step outside with them, and I was triggered. 
but it's not dirty at the bottom. That's the only that's the thing. So I don't know why I was tricking. I was just like so mad though. You already know. Make sure you sub to Super Lion. Sub to Super Lion. Sub to Super Lion. Sub to Super Lion. Oh, I'm cringy. I'm cringy. Here we have. Wait, I, I skipped my other cleats. But let's go with these because these are, I had these first. So, oh yeah, when I said better in comfortability for these, I'm sorry, I'm going all over the place. Which one's the best in comfortability? Hmm. This one's the best in comfortability. Best looks, this one. <laughs> Out of those two, best comfortability, that one. And looks, that one. Okay, yeah, good. So, these are my first pair of soccer cleats after not playing for five years. I took a five-year break and I started playing again, soccer. <laughs> And these are my first pair back. But literally, still in good shape. Except for the inside. I don't know where the insole went. And it got dirty. Yeah, whatever. Majestas. Yeah, I think that's what I call it. Yeah, Majestas. And they're fine. They're not. They're like just some soccer shoes. Like, what else can I say about them? And last but not least, my Nike Mercurial Flies. These ones had the sleeve. My second pair of soccer shoes coming back. And I got these from like Marshalls. Like it was like off sale. I bought a forty dollar cleat. Then I saw these for twenty five. Same exact thing. I was we were triggered, bro. So I just got these ones. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. You know how much work goes into these videos. Like, I had to put all these together, and I gotta put them all back. And then, like, you don't understand how long it took to stand these up. I got some. Yeah. Yeah, there's Chico. It's not a floating box. Obviously, I have stuff back here to hold it up. Because, like, it's, not, it's obviously not holding up by itself. But thank you guys so much for watching. I've been loving the support on the video. I saw you guys like my shoe collection video. It has like 50, 60 views, so now I have to I have to bring back another shoe video. So you already know I come back strong, and I come back strong with these videos. My, I've been slacking. I haven't been I've been gone for about a week, but I'm sorry I've been just like I have I ran out of video ideas. So I must start getting those flowing again. And thank you guys so much for watching.